everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of Matt Kim Photography. Uh, it's Photoshop tutorials. We have an amazing lesson today. It's great, I can say amazing, because I get to rate my own tutorials. No one else can do that. So, today we're going to be doing stuff like the yearbook. You know, last year we had the person in the person in color cut out, the person, people in the background, or the, the just background general in black and white, and in between them was a word. Anyway, so we're going to need a picture. I'm going to use another football picture just because football is great and the cross on classic picture. Keep with a the theme. Let's start a theme going here. I'll try to use as many cross on classic pictures as I can. I don't know if I can do it or not. So, let's bring this into Photoshop. This is what we look be making. Something like this. Just so you get a heads up on it. Let's open image. Okay. Now. Wait for it to load. So, you have the subject in the background color. The, the uh, text is in color too. And then the background in black and white. So you have this sense of depth here almost. Pretty cool. So what we're going to be doing is using masks. If you remember back to the lesson one, the tutorial one, long time ago, I know, we use adjustment layers, like hue saturation. You can bring the saturation all the way down and you get a black and white photo. What a shock. Okay, not really. But, you see this little guy right here? This is a mask. Black, we're done with it. So if you get your brush tool, I'll show you an example of, of how to mask. Make your color black. So you want to go as black as you can, zero, zero, zero. <clears throat> now, you want to be able to, uh, let's say, I want this grass to be in color. Check that out. Everything else here on this side to be in color. Pretty neat, huh? And you can see on this mask, you have a whole black side here. The dark side, if you will. But yeah, I said it. So if you alt-click on that, you can see, oh look, here's what it looks like. You can also do it on here, you know, it's on the smiley face. I really like smiley faces. So you can see, and look, it's kind of like a smiley face. Okay. So, that's, a pix that's called a pixel mask, where you actually draw pixels on it. It's pretty useful, but if you were to scale this up, or scale it down, or scale it any other way, it would get pixelated, just like a picture does. That's both these pixels. Let's say I want to use something that doesn't do that, or something that's easier, because this is pretty hard to go around the person and say, okay, it's, it's going to take you a while. I mean, it can be done. I do that with some of the pictures sometimes. I'm, I get better at it, so I'm more used to doing it this way. But, you know, when you get to the edge, you can go back and erase it. It's kind of a pain. So we're doing vectors. Vector masks are just, it's just a mask that uh, lets you draw curves really easily. Also scales really nicely. So if you uh, click on your pen tool here, and you go, you have these three options, shape layers, paths, and fill paths. You want to go to paths, paths, sorry, and you can uh, start down on the, in this case the foot, I start with the feet. And I've got a copy of this already done, but I'm going to show you some basic things. You have, you can make, you can make lines by clicking once, you can make curves by clicking and holding, you know, pretty much a lot of fun to do. Curves usually better. Now the thing about masking, I should type out now, is um, it doesn't work so well with hair. Like, you can mask out hair, but prepare to not do anything for the rest of the day. It's kind of boring, and it takes forever to do each individual strand of hair. Trust me, I've had to do it before. Um, works better on guys anyway, because they have less hair, it's usually shorter, and you can just cut it off on the computer. So, you know, I'm going to do this really rough. Please do it better if you want to get the full experience. It's pretty cool. So now you have a single line. When you're finished, just you know, click on your first endpoint. And this is a really bad job for me, but yours will be better. So you have a go to paths here, and you have what's called a work path. And you'll see your outside is white, inside is gray. And oh, look, it looks just like what I selected. Because it is. Click on it. And click on right here. Load path as selection. Now, nine times out of ten, you have it select the outside, not what you want. 
So do uh, select and then do inverse or control shift I for those of you who like keyboard shortcuts. Now go to layers and then click on Remember when I, yeah, I get to get rid of this little lock, so click on it and drag it to your recycling bin. And click on this little guy right here. Bam. Now, he's masked out. I believe I am running out of time. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I, and actually I'm still pretty good, so I'll keep going here. The next step we have is make it look like a yearbook. So, do a right click on the layer and do a duplicate layer. Let's say, hey, what do you want to name it? Whatever. So, hey there guys, I'm back. I had to answer the phone. It's like a sign, so you du duplicate the layer, and what you want to do is you have two cutouts. Now, you only want one cutout, so what you can do, you can right click on this mask, and do delete layer mask. So now you have you know, the background, and then you have just the cutout. Now I've got a better version of this. I will show you on this one. Get rid of these effects. And I have more or less what you guys will have. I've got the background. I've got the cutout. Now, you want to be able to uh, say, hey, computer, I want this to be a uh, this background to be in black and white. So what you do is make a layer mask. Uh, sorry, adjustment layer. Remember those from our first episode. And you get a huge saturation. You bring the saturation all the way down. And bam. This guy's in color. Everything else is black and white. Now if you want to add something in between them, such as text, you can use a text tool. Click somewhere and then just type something. In fact, let's type something else. That is, let's type, uh, let's, let's, let's just type something else. Alright, so you have something else here. Hopefully I spelled it right, so it's not that embarrassing. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Well, you know what? There we go. Nobody knows. Oh, wait, they will know. Dang it. Anywho, this is no W and something else. Okay, there you go. So then, if you put it between your cutout and your hue saturation, you can have it in color and behind your subject. Now, sometimes you don't want to use your subject background. Like I don't want to use that, so I'll use something like uh, I don't know. I like space, so why not have them running through space? You know. Put the word huskies behind him and uh, possibly something else. You can change the color of text if you double click on here. You can go to there, edit the text, you can double click here and change it to whatever you want. So there you go, now it's in white. And then just click on your uh, move tool to exit out of that. So you have, you have uh, huskies and you have something else going on here. And uh, that's about it. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you want to, you could duplicate this again with Control J. Control J duplicates things. And um, you can desaturate this one. Now, if you only want to desaturate one layer, but you still want to, or like adjustments to one layer only, what you can do is this hold down the Alt button and click between the two layers. It's called clipping. So now you gotta copy this guy clipped. You move him a bit. Actually, let's put him behind. So you can collect two layers with the Shift key. Going behind here. There we go. And we can change this, take this, bring the lightness all the way down. And now you have a pretty awesome shadow, if I do say so myself. So there you go. You got a shadow of, of the football player. So you're all set. Whatever you want with it. And that's about it for today. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, go to the group, uh, the fan page, and there's a, already a topic discussion board for suggestions. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, drop me a line, message me, or uh, post my wall, post on the fan page wall, 
last made school, which is basically how we did it last year in the yearbook. We just didn't use a shadow. We should have used a shadow. Oh, we have one more thing. That's right. You right click on your, uh, sorry, you don't right click. If you click on your Huskies, text or whatever it says, go to this little FX guy down here, choose Bell and Boss. And we used uh, Emboss, I believe. You could just change the size. There you go. Huskies. Change, increase the depth for more dramatic look. There we go. Huskies. That's what we did last year. That's about it for today. Like I said, drop me a line if you have any questions or comments or concerns, suggestions, ideas. It's about all the nouns I could think of. Matt Camp Photography. Thanks for watching.